This service video will take you through the process of a Generation 1 DRV80 to Generation 1.5 upgrade. During the upgrade process, the parts shown here, the PCB, drive mechanism, stepper motor, and seals will all get replaced. Upon receiving and opening the Generation 1.5 upgrade kit, you should have all the parts shown below. The tools shown here, Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, four millimeter hex driver, and O-ring pick will all be required. IOM 502 covers the same process step-by-step -step for your reference. Before disassembling the valve, isolate the electrical supply to the DRV80 Generation 1. Next, isolate the water supplies to the DRV80 Gen 1, turning off all supply lines, mixed water outlet, hot water inlet, cold water inlet, and recirculation. Allow the hot water inlet to cool sufficiently to reduce the risk of injury through contact with the hot pipe or DRV80 Generation 1. With a Phillips head screwdriver, remove all eight cover screws, making sure the cover is constantly supported as it is heavy. With the screws removed, carefully remove the cover and disconnect the display cable. Remove both batteries from the battery housing. Next, disconnect the battery connector, the thermistor cable connector, the motor connector, and the brain scan data connection cable if fitted. And lastly, disconnect the 12 volt power cable with a small flathead screwdriver. With all electrical connectors removed from the PCB, remove the two retaining screws, then remove and return the original PCB to the Armstrong Hot Water Group. Keep the two retaining screws as they will be used later. Now with a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the lower screw from the power supply Then remove the four screws from the bottom cover. Remove the bottom cover from the DRV. Before proceeding any further, attempt to loosen or crack a union or strainer upstream of the DRV so as to drain as much water as possible from the DRV. Now with a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the six screws, then withdraw the drive mechanism from the bottom of the DRV 80 Gen 1. You may need to slightly turn or rotate the drive mechanism while pulling down. Be aware, water will begin to come out as soon as pressure is relieved. With the drive mechanism and spool out of the DRV, use an O-ring pick tool and remove the middle separator seal and bottom seal and replace with new. Note that the middle separator seal is round and not a flat D-shape like the old was. Use silicone lubrication on all of them. Take the new Generation 1.5 drive assembly and put lube on the spool prior to inserting into the DRV valve body. Also turn the encoder disc fully counterclockwise, then fit the replacement drive assembly to the DRV80 Gen 1. Note the larger gear must be in line with the hot inlet of the DRV80 Generation 1. 
Using the new screws and a four millimeter hex driver or a Phillips head screwdriver, secure the new drive assembly into the DRV80 Generation 1. Fit the replacement PCB with the two retaining screws. Reconnect the 12 volt power cable with the white wire on the left and black on the right and the PCB connectors for the thermistor and motor as well as brain scan data connection cable if fitted. Refit the bottom cover to the DRV80 Generation 1 with the four screws. Refit the lower screw to the power supply. Reconnect the battery connector to the PCB and refit the batteries. Reconnect the display cable, then refit the cover. Refit all eight cover screws, making sure the cover is constantly supported while doing. The replacement part process is now complete. Next, move on to recommissioning the DRV. Turn the water on to all supply lines, ensuring no leaks are present. Power the system on and create a demand in the system and monitor the DRV outlet temperature versus set point desired. Use the DRV programming software to reconfigure settings as required, if not at desired system set point. Send all parts replaced back to the Armstrong Hot Water Group if still under warranty on an RMA number.